Hi YouTube, it's Lisa, and once again I have a little bit of my um, my arrangement where I'm just kind of lounging on the couch um, instead of having my normal setup, but um, which isn't that professional anyway. But my uh, my kids are watching Dinosaur Train, and so um, I it's kind of weird. They don't really like TV, but then lately, like we found the PBS Kids channel and. You can kind of do videos on demand and they've been really enjoying those and we have a half an hour before piano lessons and so I thought I would let them kind of veg a little bit with some dinosaur train. And uh, But anyway, I fully expect them to be dancing in front of this and uh, before I'm done, we'll see. But the um, thing I wanted to talk about, I had two kind of really exciting discoveries. Okay, one was a really exciting discovery and one was just kind of a, hmm, that'd be an interesting thing. And I was so excited about it that I couldn't wait to um, share it with you guys and talk about it. So um, kind of the things I want to talk about are FS, FSH levels and also I wanted to talk about a new product. I, it might not be new. It's new to me and I've read great reviews about it and so I'm really thinking about trying it. Um, I'm not TTC this month because it was just this month that I decided to kind of um, speed up the TTC process and probably drop a little bit of the weight loss um, stuff. I am about 12 pounds from where I would like to be. Probably not where I would like to be as far as like in my skinny jeans like to be, but as far as like not being overweight and just being comfortable in my body. Um, but I'm about 12 pounds, but I've decided that that 12 pounds could take several more months to get off. And I would really rather just kind of keep the 12 um, get pregnant and because otherwise you know I'm putting it off more and more and more and I think I'm you know I'm not I am of advanced maternal age so each month could be a difference but so anyway so next month I will be trying it but um, I will be TTC but I am not this month but um, anyway okay back on track the two things that I wanted to talk about were the FSH test the menopause test slash fertility test and I did some research and they are different so, uh, and then the other one is the, the Ovo Boost, and um, so I'll talk about both of those. So, first of all, I was going to take an, FS, an FSH test, and at first I just thought, I'll just take one of the menopause tests because they're super cheap. You can order them on Amazon for like four bucks for a couple different tests. But then I found out that those only test um, at 40, and I guess a 10 is considered high, like you want your FSH levels. And this is just my research, so if you've heard something different than, or you've heard something from an actual doctor and not by Google, let me know. But it seems that like you want like a seven or an eight, and like actually like a nine or a 10 would actually be getting on the high end. So a menopause test tests at 40. So that's not really gonna be indicative of whether or not um, I'm fertile. I mean, obviously if it came back positive, then um, yeah, I would be menopausal, and then that would not be uh, good. But um, but I don't think that's the case. So I looked into the fertility tests and I thought, oh, that's a better way, but they actually test at 25. So that's not really a good indicator either. Uh, however, I think I might take a test just to make sure that it doesn't come positive at 25 because I was reading about um, the follicle, um, FSH follicle stimulating hormone. And it was kind of interesting because one of the big uh, things with it is like, so it's, it stimulates the follicles. So you would think like, oh, if I have higher FSH, that's good, it's stimulating more follicles. But that's actually kind of not the case. If you have high FSH, um, it generally means, and this is once again from just my research on Google, that you either have a low egg reserve or you have low quality eggs and your FSH is higher trying to stimulate that and get it going. And one website that I looked at was actually referred to it as looking at it like a gas pedal. So like your FSH are like the cars and they're, and, uh, or your eggs are like the cars and they're kind of, um, you know, they're kind of slow and they're dragging and there aren't very many of them. And so the FSH is kind of like um, the gas and that, you know, your body is creating more of that to kind of get them to go. So it's not necessarily, it's an indicator of low egg reserve, but it's also an indicator of low quality eggs. And so um, that was one of the reasons I was really interested in doing it because my egg reserve does not seem to be low, but the quality of my eggs seems to be low. So I was interested in that. But while I was researching the tests, um, so I don't know if I already mentioned this because um, I had a little distraction there for a second with the dinosaur train, but, um, and my phone is ringing off the hook, but I, um, 
But, uh, but anyway, so the fertility tests, yeah, so the actual ones, they're 25, so it still doesn't indicate if you are, um, you know, you could be 11 or you could be not really, you know, you could be not really at that 25, but you just don't really know there. So you kind of need a blood test. Um, so I don't know. I might do that. It depends. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, the thing that I found while I was researching the test is this thing called OvoBoost. And... It is for your egg quality. And a lot of it is stuff that I've already talked about taking. However, I like the idea of taking it all in one pill. And there's also a couple of extra things in there that I had not been taking. And um, I like the idea that it's kind of like that the doses are a little more researched than me just kind of like, well, I researched it, but um, but it, like, you know, these people actually studied it and put it into a thing. And it has rave reviews. There are a couple of people who say, oh, it doesn't have the highest quality ingredients, but all in all of the reviews, people, and I know you have to take this with a grain of salt because it could very well be some of those great reviews could be the company, um, you know, or people who have a vested interest in reviewing it and giving it great reviews. But um, several people had really, really positive things to say about it. And I actually pulled up, um, I'm looking down because I'm looking at my phone here. I actually pulled up some of the... Uh, some of the reviews and and like people even talked about how it lowered their FSH which means it essentially increased their egg quality and which lowered their FSH so and some people say well if you're lowering your FSH it doesn't matter because your egg reserve is still low but you want to increase the quality of uh, the eggs that you do have so um, just kind of a side note and I might have mentioned this in another video and I don't know if it's true or not but I, my doctor told me when I was young, because I started my period when I was nine, and um, my doctor told my mom at that time, she's going to go through menopause really late because um, it's like an indicator of having an, a high egg reserve. So I'm hoping that that means that um, advanced maternal age is not going to be a huge issue for me, but I don't know. So if anybody knows if that's true, let me know. Is it true that if you start your period earlier, you do have more eggs? Or is that totally just a myth and my overseas doctor was making up stories? But anyway, that was just a side note. But So I read these things. So this one um, says healthy eggs. I had been trying to conceive for about six months and I found my FSH levels were too high. I had been on Ovo Boost for three months and my FSH is at an eight. And then it says, um, I'm hoping I'll have a positive soon. And there are, like, then the, someone else says, I'm pregnant after seven years of trying and one bottle of Ovo Boost. And then uh, a couple of people say they're uncertain about it. But um, like someone said, I suffer from PCOS. I was unable to get pregnant, one bottle of Ovo Boost, and I was pregnant. So I, um, I, like some people, like they say it works, but you have to take four capsules a day. And they're like, oh, that's really hard. But I mean, if you really want a baby, are you really going to complain about four capsules a day. So anyway, it's $28.95. Um, I don't get paid anything. Like I am going to order it on Amazon. Like, so like, don't think I'm promoting it or anything. Cause I'm not like, you know, a big deal. I don't even have a connection with Amazon except for the fact that I pay my Amazon prime uh, fee every year for free shipping. But, um, anyway, it's $28.95 and, um, it's prime. So if you're a prime member of free shipping, and I totally think I'm going to try it. And I'm hoping that I am TTCing next month and that I will get a positive and that this will actually affect my eggs. So I hope that that kind of helped with the FSH explanation because I really didn't understand it. I basically thought F high FSH meant menopause, but that's not necessarily true. And I had seen several websites that said lowering your FSH um, doesn't matter because you can't raise your egg reserve. But then I did more research and I found that you, um, you're not necessarily you know, you know you can't raise your egg reserve. You can't because you're born with the number of eggs you have. But you can raise the quality. And apparently that does lower FSH. And that is also like if you look, you'll find that that's kind of um, some fertility specialists say yes, some fertility specialists say no. Um, I am kind of a like go with my gut type of person. I always have been as far as like treating health and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go with my gut and say that you can lower it because you've got to have hope, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess that's it. And I'm sorry that I rambled with Dan a dinosaur train playing in the background, but I am absolutely shocked that no one danced and sang in front of the video today. So this might be the new, the new thing to do it quickly on the couch and, um, and just have my kids around. So anyway, YouTube, I hope I wish all the 
best of luck to all of you, and I hope that we are all um, testing positive very soon, and I will talk to you soon.